Welcome back to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. We are wrapping up National Lutheran Schools Week. So recording with students on Friday morning after they visited us here at the International Center Chapel and shared wonderful music with us. And so now have the opportunity to to sit down and chat with them, learn more about Emanuel Lutheran School in Olivet, Missouri. Good morning, Emanuel Lutheran School. Good morning. Such a joy to have you in studio today. We have uh, uh, just uh, four students and faculty with us in studio while some of the other uh, students are touring the building and learning more about the International Center. So let's go around the room and meet everyone in our studio today. Let's see. Over here we have Stephen, right? Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. (laughs) Stephen, you're in third grade. Is that right? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, glad to have you here today. And next we have Scarlett. Good morning, Scarlett. Good morning. And Scarlett is in fourth grade, correct? Yes. Very good. Thanks so much for joining us. And over here we have Luke. Good morning, Luke. Good morning. I like that. Nice and awake. And Luke is in fourth grade as well, right? Mm -hmm. And next we have Emma. Good morning, Emma. Good morning. And you're in third grade, is that right? Yes. So glad to have you here today, Emma. And then next we have Miss Brenda Henty with Emmanuel Lutheran School. Music teacher, is that right? Yes, in seventh grade homeroom. And seventh grade. Right. So, so you're sixth, in seventh grade. Right. I'm in seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> well, wonderful. Such a joy to have you all here. Thanks for bringing this lovely you're group welcome. and singing in chapel for us here at the International Center as well. Uh, so let's learn more about you and Emmanuel Lutheran School. So let's start with Luke. Luke is eager and ready to talk. Luke, tell us, why did your family choose Emmanuel Lutheran School for you? Um, my family chose Emmanuel Lutheran School because they wanted me to learn about Jesus and God and how they did all the miracles and saved us from our sins. Excellent. Well, that is, uh, that's great to hear. How about, let's go to Scarlett next. Scarlett, uh, why did your family choose Emmanuel Lutheran School Olivet for you? They chose this school because they wanted me to have the best education. And when we came, it was, they were very nice. And they also wanted me to go to a Lutheran school to learn about God. Wonderful. Very good. And let's go to Emma. Emma, tell us, why did your family choose Emmanuel Lutheran School Olivet for you? My family chose Emmanuel Lutheran School because they wanted me to learn about God and they wanted me to be able to pray out loud on like some public schools. Excellent. And Stephen. Stephen, tell us, why did your family choose Emmanuel Lutheran School for you? My family chose... My family chose it because my dad went there and his cousins and his brothers and pretty much my entire family on my dad's side went came. Wow. So you're the next generation to get to go to Emmanuel Lutheran School. Very cool. Well, I am interested in learning more about what you like about Emmanuel Lutheran School. For example, your favorite class or subject. Scarlett, what is your favorite class or subject at Emmanuel? My favorite subject is, um, or class, is um, religion because you get to learn how powerful God is and art because I can like experiment with a bunch of colors. You like to experiment with colors? Yeah. Oh, have you created new colors? I've created a bunch of colors. <laughs> <laughs> so who is your teacher? You said you, you really, your favorite subject is uh, the religion class. Uh, who's your teacher for that class? Miss Dunlop. Mm-hmm. And, and what are you learning right now in that class? What are some of the things you've re- learned recently? We've um, learned about how, like, they... Um, God, like, like he, um, he was like testing God and God proved, showed him that he was. So you're learning the, the Bible and learning stories of, of how, uh, how someone was testing God. Yeah. All right. All right. And Emma, what is your favorite class or subject at Emmanuel Lutheran School? subject is art because you get to do choice and choices different stations and drawing and collage and painting and i think it's really fun that you get to pick what you want to do Ooh, so which one is your favorite out of those choices um collage yeah have you made a collage lately yes what what was in your collage like an owl nest that said jesus inside i like the egg you chose an owl nest to put in your collage 
How interesting. Very cool. Very cool. And who's your teacher for art? Um, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Excellent. All right, Luke. What's your favorite subject or favorite class? Um, my favorite subject is math. Mm-hmm. And what are you learning right now in math? Um, right now we're learning about like fractions and decimals and like how to like mult like divide into them. Wow. And who's your teacher? Who's your math teacher? Miss Dunlop. Very cool. And Stephen, what's your favorite subject? Religion, because we get to learn about God. Mm -hmm. And what was the, what did you learn just this week in religion class? About, um, what was something you learned recently that you remember from religion class that you really liked learning? Asking you tough questions on the spot. Uh, who's your teacher for religion class? Mrs. Tanny. Very cool. So you all, uh, several of you mentioned that you came to, your, your family chose this school for you so that you could learn about Jesus, so you could learn God's word. Um, and some of you mentioned that religion is one of your favorite classes as well. Tell me more about when you learn about Jesus at Emmanuel Lutheran School. When do you learn about Jesus at your school, Scarlett? We usually, it's um, after science, and we learn a lot, like, not just in the class, but, like, throughout the day we learn things that help serve God, and, yeah. And, Stephen, do you want to add anything to that? When do you learn about Jesus in your day at school? On Wednesday, we have chapel, and... We have a devotion in the morning and at the end of school and religion. Very good. Luke, when do you learn about Jesus at Emmanuel Lutheran School? Um, we learn about Jesus in almost every subject because there are ways that, like, um, that things in other subjects connect to God and Jesus and, like, how he created things. Emma? Um... We learn about Jesus on Wednesdays in chapel in the mornings in devotions and at religion time in noon and at devotions. Very cool. And in, what was that? In the afternoon. And in the afternoon. Miss Henty, when do you love to teach about Jesus? I love to teach about Jesus all day long. <laughs> it's, it's just so exciting to be able to share the love of Jesus with all my students in all my different subjects. And I do it as often as I can. So why did you, uh, what led you to be a teacher at Emanuel Lutheran School? Why did you want to be a, an well, educator, a Lutheran educator? Well, if I can start way back. <laughs> sure. When I was in first grade, my teacher, Miss Gracie, would sit and play the guitar for us, and we would sing little songs uh, about Jesus, and that I always wanted to be like Miss Gracie, so I started learning the guitar in first grade. And all throughout my grade school and high school, going to a Lutheran school, there were just teachers that influenced me and uh, to want to share the gospel. And I, I think the Holy Spirit really called me early, that I, I knew all along that I wanted to be a teacher. And uh, I would pretend like I was a teacher and have my papers set a certain <laughs> way on the desk. And, and then I went to Concordia River Forest and came back to St. Louis. And there was an opening at Emmanuel Olivet, and I've been there. This is my 33rd year. Congratulations. And it's just a fantastic place to teach and a very supportive congregation. And the school is just a wonderful school. Well, we have something in common. I also went to Concordia when it was River Forest yes, as well. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Concordia great. University. Well, so you get to teach about Jesus all day long, and that's something you've wanted to do for a long time and have gotten to do for now 33 years. Right. That's outstanding. Mm -hmm. That's a milestone and something to celebrate. Where in those in those 33 years have you seen Lutheran schools <clears throat> make a difference? Obviously, you, you saw it make a difference for you, but where have you seen it make a difference for a student or for a whole family? Well, just this morning after chapel, someone who works here came up to me, and I recognized her, but I didn't remember where I knew her from, and she had to come and tell me that, well, who she was, and then I remembered, of course, but I had taught her two children years ago, and uh, she said, you have made a difference in my two, two kids' lives, and that was, it's always neat to hear that, you know, that they take something away and and her son is doing things with music and and now he's on his vicarage and and it, it, that's really awesome to hear but uh when i see students come into our school and 
they just really fall in love with the atmosphere, the climate, the community, and uh, and you know we have we have students from all different walks of life and you know different home lives we don't know about, and it's just really special when when students start opening up and you can just tell that they're in in the place that they need to be, you know, to hear that word of of Christ for them. Mm. That's great news to 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 hear that um, Emmanuel Lutheran School, like so many Lutheran schools, is uh, is sharing the word of God so with students that that can not only impact that student but then give that student the opportunity to bring the word of God into their home and right. uh, and bring that good news of Jesus into their home as well. We have just about a minute and a half left. Is there anyone that you would like to, I'd like to give you each an opportunity to, to, uh, for a shout out or a thank you to anyone who's, who's helped you uh, be a student at Emmanuel Lutheran School? We'll start with Scarlett over here. Is there anyone you want to say, give a shout out to or anyone you want to say thanks to? Um, I'd like to say thanks to Ms. Dunlop for making me as comfortable as possible in the classroom I'm in now. All right. Very good. And let's see, Emma, anyone you want to say thanks to or give a shout out to? Yeah, I'd like to say thank you to Mrs. Tanny because she's taught me so much and I feel really comfortable with with all that I learned. Very good. Steven? Mm-hmm. Anyone you want to say thank you to or, or a shout out to anyone you want to say hi to anyone? I want to say thank you to my parents because I wouldn't be I wouldn't be here if I hadn't gone to a Lutheran school that they chose for me, so very good. Thanks, Stephen's parents. All right, Luke, anyone you want to give a shout out to or um, thank you to? I want to give thanks to my mom and dad for bringing me to a Lutheran school and also to all my teachers that have helped me stay comfortable in classes and learn about Jesus. Very good. Very good. Ms. Henty, anyone you want to give any shout outs sure. today or any thanks? I want to thank my principal for being so supportive and our pastors and uh, my colleagues. We just have a great staff and 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 it's just a great time to every day is just so, so fun teaching with my colleagues and and having the support of our principal and pastor. Very good. Very good. Well, Emmanuel Lutheran School Olivet, thank you so much for being my guests on the Coffee Hour. And thanks for helping us wrap up National Lutheran Schools Week. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm Andy Bates. Thanks for joining us for the Coffee Hour. The Coffee Hour with Andy and Sarah is a production of KFUO. To support the Coffee Hour and KFUO Radio, visit KFUO.org. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at KFUO.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you. Anytime. Anywhere. Anywhere.